Welcome you... back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. And today we review a bottle in which Sean has no idea what this whiskey is. I just want a genuine, honest review. So I will say this after the intro rolls. I was in your house the other day looking yeah. for a camera lens and I <gasps> saw bottles on your counter. I don't remember what they are. For but real, you I don't? No, I remember thinking, wow, Dan bought that. I don't remember what it is though. You guys already know what this is. I uh, don't, I have no idea what this know, is. This will have to be added in a way which we show the bottle and then you get to do this blind, kind of. Subconsciously, I'd imagine at some point your brain will remember. Mm, that's not what I expected that to taste like, I'm being completely honest. Um, is that what the... You poured the right thing? Yeah, well I poured it and it wasn't open. Um, It's sweet, I get a banana it note. It is minty, it is herbal. It's very herbal. Yep, hyper herbal. It's a low proof. I for sure is. But okay, now this, this is it. This is low proof. This feels like old with MGP rye. Yeah, that's what it is. So, oh, um, I was gonna say, cause it doesn't have the um, like weird bitterness about it, like younger MGP yeah. rye. It's sweeter, it's not dilly, but it's still very herbal. It's very herbal. This is a nice low proofer though. It's a really good low proofer. Like fantastic. This it's is like if you took every Christmas spice ever and put it on a banana. So what was closed on the counter was a plastic top early times bottle of the bond. But that's not what we're reviewing. So I'll go get the real bottle. Luke's. I just did that to fuck with Sean. When did you bring the bottle in here? It is so hot out. I put it outside. That's what I saw in there. That's what you saw. That is what I saw in this there. This is Scarlet Rye Straight Rye Whiskey 90 proof. It's 14 years old. I forgot that was sitting there. Legitimately, because I even looked at it and said, oh, Dan found one. This is the newest Orphan Barrel. Uh, bought this from Bourbon Outfitters. God, that is a beautiful label. Or I, this is probably one. one of my favorite labels they've ever done. It's so good. I would it's get like that as American a tattoo, tattoo. It's like and an I would American fucking tattoo. love it. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. So this is 14 year old, my understanding it's MGP Rye. Uh, also approved down to 90, because all the Orphan Barrels are. Don't worry, they got Stitzel Weller on the label. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> Come oh, across 14 year old rye is rare, giving our master blenders pause when presented with such uniquely bold liquid. A born traveler, this whiskey was distilled in Indiana, MGP, and then journeyed across state lines into Kentucky, aged to perfection at the infamous Stitzel Weller Distillery. Mm. So it was aged there, but they still it got Stitzel Weller on there. Yeah. Age, how long? A week. <laughs> um, a full bodied aroma of sweet vanilla butter cream and lightly toasted oak is accented with banana bread. Okay, you said brown foreman. Um, and it's just a hint of berries. Upon taste, a collection of baking spices and rye toast complements a medley of or orchard, or or I can't talk anymore, orchard fruit, and finishes with sweet notes of orange marmalade and light warmth, which fades into lingering dark chocolate. I do agree with the like slightly toasted, nice notes of love. You might've been walking out, but I said it tastes it smells like if you took a banana and just put every baking spice on it ever. The Christmas ones you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, Christmas baking spice. The, I is, stick with it. Now here's the thing. Old rye is different than younger rye. Like years. eight plus is way different than four, right? We talked about it MGP rye really changing up about the eight year mark. But this, I get a weird dill note. I don't get I dill don't on get old dill. MGP. You get dill. Or vinegar, something like that. Like some form of... Wait. It's so no. herbal. It's so herbal. It's not... Okay, think of Sagamore eight year. Right? Mm -hmm. MGP rye. Very different. Very sweet. Like bourbon-y sweet. This is not like that. It's spicy. It is. I well, like and that. it's herbal. It's herbaceous. Yeah. Whatever the Very correct, herbaceous. Like... It's spicy. What is the proof on that? Because it feels... 90. Man, like all it, of them. Man, that drinks better than 90 though. It really so does. So that's what I was gonna say. What I was gonna say is what's interesting about it is this is a really great low proofer. Yeah. We drank low proofers earlier yeah. in the day. This is the example of like, you can get really nice complex flavors. I can smell this all day though. If I'm yeah. being honest, it smells phenomenal. It's sweet. There's like all that inviting, the, just like warm baking spices in there. If you smell at the top of your glass, you don't get 
any dilly or vinegary or something like that, pickly. Um, At the bottom, if, I get sweetness. If I was gonna go any sort of pickle, I'd go with the, um, bread the and butters. sweet. Oh. Yeah, like the, the bread and butter. Those mm -hmm. are sweet. Mm -hmm. So like a sweet pickle, maybe? And my wife is over there muttering, gross. I'm with you. Listen, if you bite into a pickle, yes. If you bite into a pickle and it's bread and butter, yeah, you got it, chill. It, it's not dilly. But it tastes like, it has that weird sweetness. It's very herbal. Long finish, nice finish. Um, For 90 proof, the mouthfeel is great. I love that it says produced in Indiana and Kentucky. A little bit of that so spiced tobacco there. on the finish, yeah. age. Um, that's really good. It's also very expensive and hard to find. How much was it? Uh, so it's an orphan barrel. Start, yeah. let's just, I just, I'd like to set the tone. Just looking right into that camera. Set the scene. Okay, wait, wait, wait we can play it's uh, an orphan, higher it was, lower. Listen, it was lost and it was found, dude. It's an, it was an orphan barrel. 175. Well, it's not lower. And if there were two options, that means it's higher. Two, yes, three. Yes, no lower. It's 200 bucks. Okay. Okay. It's really good. This is the thing. It's actually really good whiskey. It is. It's better than I thought Very it was going good to be. It, completely honest, I saw the label and we talked about it like a live stream a ago. I was like, I love the label. It looks it's phenomenal. So good. But it is North Barrel. I didn't know the price. The name's great too. 14 year um, rye whiskey at 90 proof. I thought probably not gonna be worth it. It's still probably not worth it. It <sighs> drinks great though. Here's, that 200 great though. Here's the problem. Just make it like a hundred proof. I don't know. Do you know? And I know their thing is like, it's gotta be low. What's, what's your number on that? Like price. What do you think it's worth? Can, I don't know. Current market's rocked. Like this, can, like, this I think is 125 honestly a problem, right? Doesn't seem. Doesn't bother you? No. Kentucky Owls are better. 14 year. All the Owl Rise are yeah. better. Yeah. Now all most of the all rise are two hundred bucks. Yeah. Now they're did not no longer happening. And those were like twelve and under. They're all like also cash barrel proof though. though. That's yeah. why they're so great. Like this is really good. It's blended well. It's put together well. It those is. are good barrels in this bottle. It's definitely put together well. It's good, but as a ninety proof whiskey, this is good. This might be one of the better orphan barrels they put out in a while. In a while. Yeah, because they've done like the scotch and stuff like mm -hmm. that. This or, isn't the best the one ever. Muck was okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's, the Forger's Keep was it? Mm. Yep. This is a hard one. 200s. As a package, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. As a, If you don't care how much it costs, this is a buy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I agree hey, with that. Hey, 200 bucks? Don't care. That's a coin flip. Objectively though, I think that's like a C plus. You know what this is? This is a try it at a bar for like 15 to 20 bucks. Yeah. I think objectively that's about a C plus for me. Oh, I forgot we grade things. Because <laughs> it's good. Yeah. But asking someone to pay two hundred for it is like a you you just gotta have everything and you just want to complete an orphan line. If you like minty ish, very herbal. Minty ish. It's super herbal. Super herbal, a little mint. It's good whiskey. Yeah. It's got a nice finish. This is a 90 proof that'll show you that you can have 90 proof whiskey with It's got the same the amount of mint as it does dill. It's a whisper of it. Um, it's mostly very herbal, I would sweet. never guess that's 14 though. That's what's crazy. If you gave me Sagamore eight year and this is a 14, mm. I would think the Sagamore is older, I think. 10 or under, you think? Yeah. Um, at 200, I, I'm gonna give it a solid flat C, but yeah. I do like it. Like so the, I give it a plus. I don't wanna give it, I don't wanna think like make the C bad, it's just a price thing. It is. The whiskey's good. $200 for a 90 proofer is rough. The whiskey's good. The whiskey's fantastic. The price is high, it's orphan barrel, so the price is high. I mean, promise of hope. It's better than sweet and Legitimately chill. with less than that. Well, probably, but also it's like worth way more. I know, but I'm saying like, it's a 90 Bless proof you. whiskey. Yeah. No, you're good. Like a, like a, there's other parts of heritages that have a 90 proof um, like offering that are just as old and less I guess, I in just, an SRP. The, my problem is I like it. It's good. I wish I didn't like it because I'd yeah. just be like, oh, it's be a ways D minus like it's a D, yeah. or whatever. It's the problem is the whiskey in the bottle is really good. Mm -hmm. The price tag's high. There are just other things that have existed with a 90 that proof exists. with age. And don't cost Buddy, there are things with age statements at 200. You can find owls for $200. I found a batch two or three the other day for 220. Phenomenal. I'd rather have that. And it's, it is better. It's not even close. That's but. not an argument. 
Batch no, that's one. Just and, a, that's just an easier comparison. Batch one and two can take out are some of my favorite rise. Four gate rise are two hundred bucks, and those are mostly cast strength. Yeah. Now they don't have. They're not fourteen, but their cast strength and their cooperage is different. You know, yeah. like they do cool. I don't and know. And then Jack Daniels is like, this "Hey, is single one. barrel, barrel proof rise, sixty bucks." Oh my gosh, that's that. So, I didn't even think about. Yeah, that. I guess we can just. Oh no. Yep. I like it with that. Oh, that ruined everything. Yep. <laughs> Damn it, Jack Daniels. 